Dominica is an eastern Caribbean volcanic island with an area of 750 km squared and populated with about 71,000 inhabitants. As the regulator of the electricity industry, the Independent Regulatory Commission of Dominica IRC, approved a utility-scale generation license for the Dominica Geothermal Development Company (TGDC). The Commission regulatory policies are designed to encourage the development of renewable energy in Dominica and we have to be cognizant of the government's projects. So we worked with the Clinton Climate Initiative in 2019 to develop the Sustainable Renewable Energy Plan for Dominica. This plan includes um, consideration of different technologies to arrive at 100% renewable energy gen electricity generation. Currently in Dominica, we obtain 80% of our energy from diesel generation and roughly 20% from hydro. In 2003, some major studies financed by the EU-funded program Interreg confirmed and quantified the geothermal potential in the Roseau Valley, the feasibility of a subsea transmission line with Guadeloupe and Martinique, and pre-assessed the environmental impact of the project. After 2008, a second step was made with the drilling of three explanatory slim wells that have demonstrated the high potential of the geothermal resource of the Roseau Valley. This second step was financed by Agence Française de Développement and the Fonds Français pour l'Environnement Mondial. In 2013, the EU's Development Fund, EDF, granted 2 million euros for technical assistance to the government of Dominica. A substantial damage on Dominican infrastructure following Hurricane Maria in 2017 highlighted the need to rebuild Dominican electric sector in a resilient way. To do so, in 2019, the consulting firm Tractable worked on a master plan for a Dominican resilient electrical system. An upgrade of the transmission network and a resilient planning is needed to host the geothermal power plant and ensure the network can resist similar future hurricanes. The hurricanes consisted of floods, high winds and landslides. The resulting plan recommended to go for five isolated mini-grids who can be disconnected from the main electrical network. Those mini-grids were recommended for the most important customers, such as those with hospitals, where the high risks are not observed. Within the capital city of Roseau, it is recommended to underground the overhead lines in the center of the city and to increase the strength of the poles with steel poles at the borders of the city. For most vulnerable customers, going for backup diesel generators is also recommended to ensure resilient supply in case of grid failure. On the west coast, where high flood risks are observed, it is also recommended to increase the strength of the poles with steel poles. In other areas of the country, it is recommended to stick to wooden poles and to strengthen the poles to, with steel poles for the most critical lines. Finally, a fast recovery approach is a top priority for the whole country. AFD supported the drilling of wells and managed the technical assistance to the government of Dominica and its energy main actors through training actions, financial and tariff models, and preparatory work for the development of the geothermal energy. As such, in September 2019, the TGDC, along with Sureka, a subsidiary of the French company Veolia, carried out a simulation exercise on the site of production well in Loda. The aim was to test the responsiveness of the emergency services. In March 2022, Sureka continued to support TGDC to provide relevant training to staff on environmental and safety capacity. The ambition of the government of Dominica is to develop the domestic plant and to move quickly to export geothermal energy towards the French neighboring island. As it will grow, the plant will affect positively the social, economic, environmental well-being locally, regionally and globally. It could bring major benefits in terms of climate change mitigation and improve regional cooperation.